We are here at Silverstone doing wind tunnel testing with Watchshop. As you can tell with my new Trek Speed concept. I'll be riding this bike for the beginning half of the season and find out in this video how I saved double digit watts. How are you doing? Because I'm laughing at that about. Oh. <laughs> Two seconds. Yeah, I'm good. I have. I woke up at 5.15, went to the pool, did a VO2 swim, and then I went food shopping the best day of the week. I have full cupboards. And now I'm eating breakfast, which is sourdough toast, avocado, scrambled eggs, tomato, and a cup of Earl Grey tea to fuel me for today, because we're going to the wind tunnel. Just about to leave, we have it's about, we're going to Silverstone and it's about an hour and a half away. It'll be good to see and speak to the Watchshot team if they have any new findings, new ideas, anything that we haven't thought about before, which is always good when we go see them. But we're testing the suits that we tested on the, the mourner suits, which we tested on the velodrome. We're going to now, and that lot, we're going to look at different helmets um, and then bottle, uh, bottle positions again, just changing things and probably shoving a, um, what's it called, a bladder uh, down the front. Um, yeah, and then I guess then if we have time, some other little bits and bobs that you can do. So, yeah. Nice. Just exciting. Not... The wind tunnel it was very exciting. Obviously, need more goggles and earplugs. It's really windy and cold. Yeah, windy, cold. So the wind gets pushed from here down, and your bike goes on here. And you can see um, this uh, projected. Down here is your position and the wind speed and the direction of the wind. And yeah, you're just cycling the wind and they measure stuff. And we'll talk to Jamie to give you more of the scientific stuff that I don't have a clue about. I just have to sit on a bike and pedal. So just have like a little bit of a move and just to see if you're getting back into the same position okay. or not. For this first part? No. For all of them. Oh, all of them. So we'll do three times 30 seconds each one. Okay. So we've tested Fenella with three different skin suits and basically see, so there's two different skin suits from Moana, uh, one of which is about three watts faster than the other. Um, the fastest Moana tri suit is about five watts faster than the HP one from last season. So like decent, decent improvement. Uh, maybe, maybe. Okay, what's she got in there 2024. Now? So now we've left her in the fastest skin suit, in the fastest tri suit, which is yeah, this white one, uh, and now she's trying it with a um, a camel pack on her chest. So this is essentially to try to fill the gap behind her arms from an aero point of view, but it also gives her about one and a half litres of hydration. So 
So if it comes out neutral, it's still beneficial. When you're a pro, we often see us in here just these marginal gains, but obviously they're incremental when you're when we are racing. So, how much, what or time do you think I saved today? <laughs> <laughs> so you hard hitting question. Yeah. So actually, though, uh, that's that's what, that's what all Asians are gonna or yeah. the people watching are gonna ask. Did I don't think I don't think I mentioned it before, but going from your skin, your tri suit from last year yeah. to this tri suit was uh, I think that was five watts faster oh, crazy. which is mad yeah. and then I think the chest camel pack was about another like four or five watts okay. um, so that's been the two main ones oh yeah and then going narrow was like three to four watts okay. so if you so like those three those three are like the main ones okay. um, and yeah you're looking at somewhere with, like they don't necessarily stack no. on top of each other but yeah somewhere in the region of like 10 watts probably it's quite reasonable, and that's yeah, somewhere between like two and three minutes probably on an Ironman. Ironman. So position is the big one, yeah. and it's, okay, the wind tunnel is the best place to look for fine differences, yeah. for fine tuning it, but actually outdoor testing is fine. If you've got a power meter and a speed sensor, so we're partners with a company called Aerotune, that outdoor testing, it's fine for making big changes. You'll see like, a 2% change in CDA just fine using outdoor testing. Do your research, don't go out and buy like the top end skin suit if you're riding at 30 kilometers an hour because the top end skin suits have been designed for 45 kilometers an hour. Um, so do your research, like certain companies have like, skin suits for certain speeds and it does make a difference. Other than that, make sure that just like everything works well. So get decent tires on your bike. So like go for high end time trial tires. So like the Schwalbe Pro 1 TTs or the Continental GP 5000 TT are like significantly faster than just like a stock tyre. Uh, make sure your chain, you have a wax chain, so just like a chain in good condition, like all your bearings are clean, yeah. like everything runs through. Clean bike is a, a like, yeah. bike is a fast bike. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, it's quite common that just volume on your chest is faster, so like your chest camel pack is quicker, yeah. like that's generally not slower for people. Try to keep your head like a good thing to focus on is like a turtle so it's like low and forward so not just necessarily face going straight down because then you'll find that your tt helmet sticks up but if you can get your head yeah like low and forward it puts a bit of strain across your shoulders but adapt to it get used yeah. to it yeah <laughs> that's why indoor riding you can practice yeah. it i guess yeah and then indoor train try to get like a mirror set up in front of you and just like check your own position and try to respond to that so just do lots on the turbo trainer so that was the wind tunnel. Um, so the main takeaways for me would be the suit that I'm wearing this year. It was five to six walks faster than the suit that I was wearing last year. And there's lots of little room for improvement in that, in terms of the fact that that suit isn't tailored for me. So we're gonna go change the length of the legs and arms and nip and tuck some little bits here and there. The second thing that was quite interesting would have been the, the bladder this year was, so 1.5 litres bladder down the front of my top was about four watts quicker, um, which is really good in terms of yeah, hydration on the bike and then yeah, having that free speed there. Um, it was good to go back and clarify a helmet choice so that was interesting and maybe look at something different for Nice than the beginning half of the year, but something we might play around with the second half of the season. Um, I'm going to go away and, like Jamie suggested, trying to get as narrow as possible at the front end because that is quicker. But I'm going to do it slowly and see which 
are how I feel most comfortable when riding outside. But yeah, those are the main things and it was so good and it was great to see the team and yeah, like I said a uh, second ago, I hope you found it interesting and, and, and insightful. Make sure to like, subscribe and share this with all your friends if they want to know more about the Wind Tunnel too. See you in the next video.